Garissa Governor Nadif Jama has made public shocking details of an audit he initiated to ascertain the cause for the county's bloated wage bill. The audit conducted by the Human Resource Department has revealed that, listen to this, 3,500 staff were employed unprocedurally. The report further reveals that of the 180 people employed as deputy directors and assistant directors out of and assistant directors, only 44 had the requisite qualifications for the positions, while the others were not fit to hold the posts. Further, the transport department had hired close to 100 drivers, yet there were only 12 vehicles. Chemutai in report. Commission two months ago has sent the new Garissa County administration back on the drawing board as it moves to embark on a cleanup, headcount and document verification to align its staff with its programs to facilitate appropriate service delivery with minimal wastage. We have phase two which is coming. Phase two is a headcount. We also want to call everybody back uh, to the county to see who works for this county, because the stories we're hearing is very, very disturbing. We keep hearing of people in, 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 in working outside the country, uh, others, you know, Wanandela na Makazizao, you know, Wakiwa uh, Fugaji, Wangine uh, Tuasikia, you know, they are different kind of places, yet they are in salary from the county payroll. While making public the findings, Governor Nathif Jama regretted what he termed as the county being turned into a recruitment bureau and burdening the county with a huge wage bill at the expense of service delivery. We will carry out also um, another further audit, i.e. document verification. They do not have the rightful documents. Wengi wao work on fake degrees. A lot of the directors who are now in the payroll are said to be having fake degrees. The audit carried out by the HR department with the help of the Directorate of Personnel Management found that only 44 of the 180 people employed as deputy directors and assistant directors in various departments had the required qualifications for the positions. Further, despite the county having only 12 functional vehicles up and running, close to 100 people had been employed as drivers and were drawing salaries monthly. Close to 3,500 uh, people accorded for to earn salaries, both in the IBPD and in Excel. 3,500 of them, or close to that, without having passed any due process regarding employment. And with the cleanup exercise having rendered many jobless, the governor defended himself from the attacks, saying a special task force led by the county secretary had been formed to hear the concerns of the affected staff. The terms of reference of the task force also includes compiling and submitting a comprehensive report with recommendations of actions to be taken by the county government relating to the emerging issues. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV.